Welcome back. I'm Tommy. This is Modern Ronin Media, where we talk film for people who love the art of filmmaking. And do you know, if you guys aren't subscribed, do me a favor, click the subscribe button. If you guys like this video or any of the videos we produce here, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you do subscribe, click the bell icon so you're notified when we have new videos coming. So today we're doing a quick unpackaging. It's not really a box, it's a THL package. And the first impressions. I am 99.9% .9 certain that this is from Tilta and this is going to be the brand new red approved Tilta battery pack for the Komodo. I have been playing with the Core Southwest, which is a great battery pack. The one issue that it has is it doesn't have all the bells and whistles in terms of ports and such. Um, we're going to check this out, see how it fits. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do a firmware upgrade to the Komodo before I actually get into a really hardcore review on this. So let's get into this. And thanks DHL. Didn't even have to pull out the knife. So we got the box. Uh, has my name, information, probably some generic custom stuff inside. Let's get this thing open and see what we have. Damn, Tilta. Well, they went out of their way to ensure that no one's going to get into it. That is for sure. So, uh, this came out, Scott Balcom talked about it on his channel. So, inside the box, we have a smaller box and if there's a smaller box inside of this box I'm going to be really worried. I have been using Tilta stuff with the Dragon since 2013 I think so I like their stuff. Um, people have different opinions but I think their stuff is usually pretty solid. This is the first electronic um, thing I've gotten from them so never use that. Actually no I take that back I have the Tilta Nucleus Nano follow focus that I love. And when I was doing an old show called Apocalypse Diaries, we use that every day. So let's check this thing out. So right here we have the Advanced Power Distribution Module Tactical Gray with the sideways B-mounted plate, which is one of the things I don't like about the core. So this is a core Southwest, uh, what is it, nano battery. It's a nano V-mount. I have these other ones that are about this much bigger and prior to getting this, if I was using the core, the battery would mount vertical. And with the bigger ones, it would kind of cover up the SDI port. With the Tilta, it should mount sideways. So we'll see that in a second. So let's go through this real quick. Like I said, I like Tilta's products. Um, don't really have any major issues. So let's see, we have Time code control, genlock, and time code control, genlock, and a power out, I believe, here. We have a five bolt adapter here. And we have a 14.3 volt, uh, what is this? 14 point, sorry, I can't read. 14.8 volt DTAP and two 14.8 volt three amp um, other cables. So we have a lot of power distribution on here. I'm looking forward to checking out the USB for things like um, the Nucleus Nano requires a, from the motor that goes where this follow focus is right here. The follow focus motor for the Nucleus Nano requires uh, power. So it's a USB cable. I usually use one of those lipstick USB batteries. This will be able to plug in here. The OC monitor here um, has a D-tap, which I don't remember where it's at. I think it just taps into here. And so that'll work out good. So we'll have one power set instead of having to worry about Sony NFPs here, Canon BP is over here. Everything will come from this one distribution cable. And let's check out this. 
Okay, so this is Allen wrenched in, and it looks like, yeah, right back here like this. So to go over this real quick, with the red Komodo, it is capable of using uh, the Canon BP series batteries. I think I have the 570s or the 590s. So two of them here, lock in. So this will mount right here. It's always interesting getting these type of plates off because you have the two eject buttons on the side. That's not a tilted thing. That's just a weird thing with these batteries. So let's put this plate on and check this out. So it came with a little tiny itsy bitsy Allen wrench. You know, I think I can pretty much make full sets of Allen wrenches with all the equipment I've gotten over the last year. Cause like I said, up here is definitely time code, uh, control. So like, um, start, run, stop, that type of thing. Um, which again, with the Nucleus Nano, you can run a control cable back to here and Genlock. So that I'm assuming this top one is time code out. This one is to uh, lock time code in. And then we have this little adapter that will go into the back. So let's see how this thing plugs in. So this is how it will sit. I like this already. Um, it does add a significant amount of weight to the camera. Um, and honestly, you're kind of pushing the end of super compact that I love about the Komodo. But that being said, in my opinion, sometimes heavier cameras and heavier equipment are going to be a lot easier to maintain and be stable with. Uh, one of the issues I saw with DSLRs coming when I first came in back into the film world was you could shake them way too easy. I remember super heavy mounts and super heavy equipment. So I'm glad I have this. This looks like it's going to be very interesting to see how this works out and how this plays into my uh, ecosystem. In the studio here, 99% of the time I am on AC power, but it's those times when I need to put this on a slider or I need to put it on the um, cine shooter or put it on the end of a boom or even on the Ronin where this is, should hopefully come in handy. I hope. Um, I do wonder if this length is going to make a big difference for getting on a gimbal. Other than that, this thing looks like it's built solid. Can't wait to get outside and test it. Not today, because here in San Antonio, it is 36 degrees and like 40 mile an hour wind. So we're not doing that. But you guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, the first impressions on this is this thing looks solid. Like I said, also, this is a not pre-production, but first production run. So wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of hiccups, anything that's integrating with new systems on their first run has a tendency to have a little bit of hiccups. Give it about a month and we will do a full review on it and I'll let you know what I think about it. But for now, get out there and create great things. Don't worry about the best tools on the market. Use the tools that are right for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you comment and let me know what you guys think of this video. Take care.